How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Last time, we continued going through the B-Line here in the Deep Sea Metro. And before we actually begin the episode, though, I need to rectify something with my inkling, because, uh, you know, we are deep underground, and I didn't really think through the eye color, because what Octoling would have blue eyes with that ridiculous pink hair? So, uh, I might as well just change it up real quick. But before I do, I want to at least show the options for the female Octoling. I think I said Inkling earlier. I always get the two mixed up. Especially when recording. When I'm recording, I always screw up my words, but you already know that. Anyway, uh, so... Actually, this is on a different default skin tone as well for the Octoling. Oh yeah, because in promotional material, the girl Inkling, who's the default one in promotional material, by the way, uh, really the only one, I should say, uh, is a little bit darker skin tone. Uh, so, there's these different options. I'm just going to go with that. You have a ponytail for the option, other than the default hair here. And uh, the eye color is basically the same. Also, why is the default eye color for her different than the male one? That's a little weird, because it was already on blue when I went to create my Octoling. Anyway, I'm going to go back... Oh, and it even keeps it, too. That's actually really cool. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the boy. You see, we are a little underground now, so I think... I don't want to be Casper the friendly Octoling, but I guess I'll go with the in-between, because I'm not really getting any sunlight right now. And the other male hair option is an afro, but I really like this hairstyle better for the Octoling boy, so I'm going to stick with that. And now, pretty much the only colors I usually go with, I say usually and then I ended up going with the blue anyway when I started this adventure, I usually go with either the red, the pinkish shade, or the maroon. I think maroon works best because it's a little darker than the hair color, so it kind of balances things out, so yes. This is officially my Octoling. It only took the fifth episode in order to rectify this. Anyway, let's hop in to the other tests here in the Deep Sea Metro. Let's go to B13, Fat Splat Station, defeat all of the enemies. Alright, so we have three different options we can choose from, and once again, our goal is to defeat all of the enemies. Now, it shouldn't be like the last one where we were on a crate made of pixel art of uh, Inkling. So, uh, oh, that's also why I probably mixed up saying Inkling instead of Octoling, because we just had Inkling squid artwork for uh, pixel art for the level. Uh, it recommends the Flingza Roller, and I think with the Burst Bomb, this is the better combination for this stage. So, let's go ahead and hop in with the test fee of 200 CQ points. And in the background, it's a little weird, because I don't recognize what this could possibly be for an 80 or 90s reference, because basically that's what Octo Expansion's all about. It's like a big 80s and 90s reference. Alright, let's just splat you. I'm going to go over here to avoid that crossfire from that other uh, Octarian. Yeah, is that supposed to... Maybe it's supposed to represent, like, a dollhouse thing? I don't really know, because I didn't grow up with, like, any Barbies or anything like most modern kids do nowadays. Well, Barbie was around back then, but it's more modern nowadays for, like, boys to be able to play Barbie, too. It's not, like, frowned upon or anything, or society's, like, weird about it. Yeah, so I don't really know what that's supposed to represent. Anyway, I'm gonna take the launch pad, because I don't want to sit here and try to figure out what that's supposed to represent. So uh, let's make our way over to this big area with a bunch of Octarians. Let's destroy this big fella in the middle, because he will be kind of a tough challenge. Alright, I'm going to just activate all of my bombs here. I'm just going to set loose all of these, just try to take out some of the Octarians down there. Now we're going to move on to these guys up here, because these guys are a little tricky to deal with. Speaking of, I'm gonna splat you goo. Ooh, I got both of those in a row. Did I just say goo when I didn't really mean to? Alright, destroy you with the uh, Flingza Roller, because you are a bit annoying there, Octo uh, Sniper guy. Alright, let's see. There's you. This, oh, of course, you would move out of the way. Please stop moving out of the way. Please? Okay. Oh, go here before you splat me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, you're gonna be coming over this way, I imagine. Right? Yes? Yes, kind of, sort of. Alright, uh, there's still trouble down below. Oh, there's one more. 
All right, buddy. Come here. There you go. All right, took him out. Now let's make our way up this box right here because we have even more enemies that we're going to splat if I can make it into the... If I can make it into the uh, launch pad, thank you. This part of the level's really cool. Yes, this is a really tall tower that we're making our way through. And I'm gonna get splatted. Yeah, I, I, I always have trouble with that specific Octarian Sniper. I don't know what it is, but it always gives me trouble when I go for it here at the end. Speaking of, hello, Octo, uh, Octo AK, not AK, that's, uh, Octo, uh, I forget your name. Anyway, we have a splashdown weapon available to us if we so desire. Speaking of, oh, I'm all backward. Whoa, where did you come from, Octo Stamp? That was, that was actually pretty cool. That was really awesome. Okay, uh, let's make our way through. There's this guy here. He's gonna move, I think. Is he gonna move? He's actually still sitting over here, which is weird. Usually he doesn't. Okay, uh, I'll just splat you right now. Uh, there's a guy above that's left, but we can't go up from here, so let's make our way up to the top of where this guy was, because the ink lines actually do take us up there. Okay, there's you up here, and one more enemy here. Okay, I can easily take care of you. Right, get you, and where are you, buddy? You're right there, and come on, come on, splat him. Or her, I don't know, I don't know your gender. Do you even have a gender? I, I'm not sure. Anyway, launch pad appears right there and something really cool we can do? Splash down right as we land over here. This is so cool, I love doing that trick. It's just the best. All right, let's go ahead and consume the pen. Con not consume, that means eat. Let's assemble the pen. Oh God, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but we did pass the test, so that makes up for all of my incorrect word usages. I can't believe I said consume. I'm, I'm not that fat. I don't eat pens. Uh, that's going to be quoted somewhere. Brute roll-up station. Defeat all the enemies with rollinium before the time runs out. This level. This is one of several levels in this campaign that I have not really that great of luck with. And I am going to use the recommended weapon because... In the stages I find hardest, I usually go with the recommended one. Alright, we have three lives, and now we need to destroy some of the Octarians. Alright, so, with the Rollinium, we're going to need to aim for some of these Octarians here. And of course, it's easier said than done to take them out. Okay, take you out. You can also wait for them to uh, unfurl back in front, because they're also going to move closer to the screen. Uh, as each thing happens, so let's hit you. All right, that wasn't so bad. Oh, I can't hit you from there. Okay, grab you. And now I need to hit you. That's not going to happen. Okay. All right, hit you. And this should allow me to hit you in just a second. Nope, okay. There's also some Game Boy Colors in the background. Very, very nice. I wish I could pause. Actually, I could pause to just show them off, but... I'm not going to because it'd be a little redundant. Anyway, there is a Octo Sniper right here. And we need to hit him. There we go. Passed the test. Not bad. Did it without losing a life, which I was very worried about, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, I'm just super excited that that didn't cause me as much trouble as, as it usually does. So, uh, thank you for that. There are new entries in the chat log, so I sent them along. Check them out sometime. All right, sure, Marina, I will check that out eventually. Oh, we have actually two eight ball options we can go to because I was actually going to go down here. You know what? I will. I'll go down here and then I'll consume more of line B. <laughs> I said consume again. I will do more of line B from this way. Let's count down for a bit. So let's go to whack eight ball station, find and return the eight ball. So this is a different spin on the eight ball levels because there are some where you guide the eight ball somewhere although technically you also guide the eight ball in this one um but first you need to find it before you guide it and i really like that i really like this specific level of the eight balls it's really cool and in the background we have uh that's is that supposed to represent uh oh god i forget what what they're called now uh 
What you use to put papers together. Oh my god, how can I not remember the name of those things? Oh my god. My- all of my teachers in the history of my school learnings would be so mad at me. I'm gonna remember this as soon as I'm done recording, too. I already know it. God, what is it? It's not a- God, I know it's not a stapler. Uh, Jesus, how could I not remember this? Oh my god, I think that's what it's supposed to be, at least. It's supposed to be representative of that. How, how am I not remembering this? I'm so ashamed of myself right now. Dear God, I probably should have became a teacher. Then I wouldn't know what the name of that is. Oh my God, I'm so upset now. I'm going to be spending the rest of this recording wondering what the hell the name of that thing was that it reminds me of and probably is replication of. All right, we have to go up here through these platforms and we need to... Oh God, that's actually pretty close. Need to snipe you, please. Thank you. Hop up here. I'm gonna remember it as soon as I'm done recording. I already know it. That's really bothering me. I'm upset. All right. So we have a special weapon that we can use, and we can just honestly brutally destroy those Octarians right there along that way. It's really, really cool. All right. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a key. So let's splat that so we can move our platform along the way. Spin, spin, spin away. All right, with our Clash Blaster, let's go ahead and splat this wall so we can make our way upward. And now we have enemies, but the thing is, we don't even need to face them. All we need to do is grab the key and move on. Pretty simple. All right, so with our newfound key obtained, even though we kind of, I mean, we did kind of find it. It was just sitting in a spot where... It really probably shouldn't have been. How did it even get there in the first place? I guess in lore, the Octarians nabbed it and kept it by them. I don't really know. All right. With our Clash Blaster, now we're going to be escorting the 8-Ball now that we've found it. Okay. Hit this. And we're going to need to go along this side. Because we need to push the 8-Ball over this way. And you can see... Actually, this was part of the trailer, I think, for Octo Expansion. This part where the eight ball falls down. Oh God, is it gonna even hit the hole? Okay, it is. Where it falls down, it goes through the onion rings and it gives us our points, which is very, very cool. All right, so let's be very careful about this because I do not want to fall down and die, even though we hit several checkpoints back again each time we complete one of these uh, circuits with the eight ball, go past our original checkpoints rather. That is so gonna bother me for the rest of the day. I swear, that is... What is it? I'm so upset that I can't remember what it's supposed to be or what I think it's supposed to be. Oh my god, I'm gonna look this up after I'm done recording and I'm just gonna face palm, face eyes, whatever things I can hit with my face. I can't hit my face with my eyes, they're kind of attached, but you know, you know what I mean. All right, so this is a little tricky. What we need to do is we need to wait to see a guardrail along that way, and then all we need want to do is make the eight ball fall. I probably should take out those Octarians first. Actually, let, uh, well, we have a clear path. Let's just go. Hit the eight ball along the way. Actually, yeah, that worked out better, kind of. Hey, not really speedrun tactics, because, I mean, I did die. Speedrunners would have done that on their first shot, but... Nonetheless, we have escorted the eight ball back to its little cubby hole, and we've completed another test. And now we have a very big group of options, including the option to unlock line E, but we're not currently on line G, so we're going to be sticking to line B. Before I do go into the level, though, I forgot to notice that Cap'n Cuttlefish also gains clams on his hat when the clams are in the train, so that's, uh, that's pretty funny. Anyway, let's hop into Notorious Station, blowing up like it's all good. Get to the goal using curling bombs. So, this is one of a few stations here in the game where you will be given a sub-weapon, but not an actual, you know, shooting weapon. 
And I really kind of like one of these levels. Actually, this one is my favorite of all of them. So let's hop in and let's use our curling bomb to reach the goal. So of course, there are gonna be some Octarians that are not gonna really be fun to deal with, but you know what? You can easily avoid them. It's not too big of a deal. The only hassle really I think in this stage is avoiding the cleaner, scrubby medus, cause I mean, they also take away some of your ink that you put down, so uh, it's not really all too fun. But we can just go over here and they actually give you some power egg pattern in order for you to actually uh, do this. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, let's spray that down, avoid the Octo Zeppelins cause they are pretty annoying, so to speak. All right, make our way through and fairly simple, right? Well, I want to show you the coolest part of this level. Bounce up, send the curling bomb, and wait for it to fall to hit the platform so we can go down. I really love the mechanics of this level. It's just the greatest. And we've hit the final checkpoint now. Also, the Octoling does the same animation as the Inkling when you throw a curling bomb or any bomb rather. And it, uh, if you wait and stand still, it'll do the thing. Oh god, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Owie. Please don't hurt me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh wow, we did it on our first try. And we gained our health back right at the very end. Wow, that was actually super cool. The beginning of that ending though wasn't so great, but still, we passed the test without losing a life. Not bad at all. That is another mem cake gathered, and we are oh so close to that precious thing that I guess the telephone really wants. Oh, it's another eight ball level. Oh, okay. Um, well, we have two different eight ball options actually, so uh, next episode of Octo Expansion is gonna be pretty loaded. Oh, did I forget to mention that we're gonna be saving those for next time? Well, now you know. So that is going to do it for this episode of Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Next time we have a couple of 8-ball levels that we're going to be doing. And we might collect that thing, or maybe I'll just go to line C and save that thing for a little bit later. Until next time, thank you for watching!